Gareth Wheeler and Terry Dunfield with you. Now, before we talk tactics, we want to send our heartfelt condolences on behalf of us in Toronto FC to those affected by the tragedy that struck last night, the plane crash in Medellin, Colombia, that took the lives of many of the players of the club team, Shepa Quince, the Brazilian side traveling to play in cup competition, the journalists, the families involved with everyone was struck by that tragedy last night. The whole football world is with you and are absolutely grieving at this very difficult time. Uh, there's no easy transition, Terry, but we're going to talk tactics ahead of the match against the Montreal Impact. Of course, this is a massive tie. Montreal with the 3-2 aggregate heading into the second leg. And you and I have been chatting all week about where perhaps Toronto FC can find some kind of advantage. And we both like Justin Morrow's play. For me, Terry has been the top left back in Major League Soccer all season long. And I think it's a mismatch, quite frankly, he against Hassoun Kamara down Toronto FC's left-hand side of the Montreal Impact right. Yeah, especially if the game plays out how we think it's going to. Okay, barring an early goal, I think TFC are going to have a ton of possession. Montreal going to be difficult to break down. And, and there's, TFC need to find a way to break down their blocks. And I think Justin Morrow's just the answer. What TFC need to do is move that ball quickly. And once they secure possession, Justin Morrow gamble a little bit get into that space get yourself up against Kamara Oduro won't, won't always track you back and once you're isolated in that one-on-one -on -one situation be extremely brave even take a chance when Michael Bradley if he drops deep to get on the ball he's got that raking long field yes. ball to isolate you that way as well and then if I'm a midfielder if I'm Cooper if I'm Jovinko if I'm even Betajor on the other side, I'm gambling. I'm getting in at that back post because very rarely does Justin Morrow not get that ball in the box, whether it's an early ball from deep or getting to the byline. Both the goals in the first leg came from Justin Morrow. See, Kamara is more of a center half for me, so he doesn't have the agility, the athleticism to stay with a player like Morrow, who's improved as the season's gone on in terms of his attacking influence. And if Montreal decides to commit a midfield over, whether it be a Bernardello or a Donadell to support, then it's going to open up space in the middle and mean good things for Toronto FC, whether it be a Javinko popping in or one of the midfield three. Yeah, 100%. Cooper is a player who could really take advantage of that. He's great under pressure and in those little pockets in one-on-one -on -one situation. Also, don't forget Bernadello, Patrice Bernier. They're not the most mobile. No. They won't be able to get across and help uh, Kamara out. And for me, Kamara's a defender who's better going forward, making those marauding runs up the wing. He's not a great 1v1 defender. And another way as well, Javinko, he could almost drift over to that left-hand yeah. side and create an overload. It's a real problem spot for the Montreal Impact. And if you play the ball down Justin Murrow's left, then Toronto FC will absolutely reap the benefits. Use the hashtag TFC Live, torontofc.ca for all of your TFC content. Once again, want to say it with me? Come on, you Reds. Oh, I thought you were no? going to go with Terry no? Talks no? Tactics. Well, Terry <laughs> Talks Sure, I like the come on, you Reds better.